Daniel, you look so thin. You need to eat more. What, you're too busy to course? A lot's been going on. Maybe it's a girl taking up all your time. No, but... What? I've been meaning to tell you guys this for a long time. Come on, spit it out. I'm gay. We didn't raise you in America to be gay. This Chinese family represents a much broader issue within the Asian culture. My coming out story that I was gay. And many I'm have gay. taken to YouTube to share their experiences. The stigma of shame and embarrassment. As an Asian, being gay is not common. It's not something that you bring up in a family. I feel like gay is one of the worst things that our parents think we can be. But today, it's our actor, Daniel, who's opening up. I can't lie to you guys anymore. If you overheard these parents, after all we have sacrificed for you, disapprove of their son for coming out. You bring shame to our family. What would you do? Daniel is meeting his parents at the Jefferson Diner. OK, there's something that I have to say. Come on, spit it out. I'm gay. What? Right away, this couple is tuned in. you got to be kidding me. It's just unacceptable. After all we've done, after all we've sacrificed. And they're listening as Daniel's parents get more and more upset. And how can you have kids? I can adopt. I can... You won't have a normal life if you're gay. Come on. What do you mean? You're embarrassing yourself. That's what I mean. He's embarrassing us. It's not about you, lady. Have mom and dad go away? With mom and dad gone, they invite him to join them and offer some support. It's not something you can help. It's not a choice. Just from knowing Asian families, they don't accept that. It's mm -hmm. not many families. And many cultures. They don't let that go to life and kind of just, you know, find yourself and go into the Asian Time to let them know. Oh my God, you've got to be kidding. It's only, what would you do? Wow. What is it in you that makes you speak out like that? When she yelled out, you're gay, I'm like, oh, hell no. It could be a lot worse. He could be a drug addict. He could be a, a thief, a murderer. There's a lot of other things he could be that are <laughs> much, much, much worse. We're rolling again. And mom is eager to play Cupid. Look at it. Look at it. Yeah, she's pretty mom. This is how people date these days anyway, right? She's gorgeous, right? This trio seems to find her matchmaking techniques amusing. Go for it. Yeah. Hey, you won't know unless you try, right? These people agree with me. And for whatever reasons, he's not interested. Is it somebody you know? It's a friend of mine. I'm not interested because I'm gay, mom, OK? <laughs> They quickly realize... Now, this is not funny, you know that, right? He's not kidding. That's ridiculous. Well, why are you telling us right now? Because I don't want to hide it anymore, OK? What about the family name? You are the only son. With the pressure boiling, Daniel takes a moment to cool down. You should think about this. I'm just in shock. I'm so sorry you have to hear this. I think you've got to put him on the spot. You're here to advise him for good decisions. Let him decide. Try and understand his point of view. I just want what's best for him. Yeah, well, I understand that. I love it, too. But when it comes to his personal beliefs... But do you believe homosexuality is... Well, I believe what the Bible says. Which is... <laughs> which is that homosexuality is uh, sin for God. Exactly, that's how we feel. Do you really think that me being gay is wrong? Well, it's wrong in the eyes of God. Or right, have, have Daniel get angry, just leave. He's upset, he leaves. That? You know what? As Daniel storms away, this man of faith shares some final thoughts. I would seek counsel to a pastor. pastor we have everything right. You think it's wrong to be gay? I do. God frowns on it. It's a sin. Gay people will tell you it's not a personality thing. They were born that way. That's who they are. I don't believe that. I think it's an environmental thing. I think that with some counseling, they can solve the problem. I, I consider it a problem. Our actor Daniel, who identifies as queer, is not surprised by their reaction. In fact, it's what he'd also expect in China, where his family is from. I, I don't think I would ever be able to broach the topic of sexuality if I was in China with my extended family, because it would be too many doors to slam open. <laughs> well, today, we meet many customers who are happy to help Daniel crack those doors open. Well, he can't change, but he didn't want to keep it bottled in anymore. Well, what culture are you? 
I'm Indian. Would your parents be okay with it? Probably not, but if I was, I would say the same thing because it, it's hard. You can't change who you are. Others suggest it's simply a sign of the changing times. It just doesn't really belong in our culture. In our culture too, but you know, it's, it's 2018, you know what I mean? Things are different. I'm proud of him that he's even saying, you know, many people years ago would never even open their mouth. I grew up in a, a totally masculine type, like, you know, type world. Things are changing. I mean, look at how many people held that in and they wound up committing suicide or something because nobody accepted them. You know, it's like, I mean, I could start crying it over that. It so It does, often. I know. We roll one last time. How, how will you tell the rest of the family? We can't tell the family. I can't believe you're doing this to us. But as soon sure. as mom and dad leave, this woman is up on her feet. No, it's not my I'm just so upset that they're saying that to you. I just don't know what to do. It's hard for them to understand because it's not their culture. I just want you to know that it's okay. There's nothing wrong with being gay or straight or whatever you feel. What am I supposed to do? Be yourself is what you're supposed to do. And if they can't accept it, that's their problem. And when our parents return, I'm sorry, I just Why are you wanted to talk to your son. He's very brave for coming out to you, and I know it's not my place for to interfere. I'm sorry, this is your family conversation. Why did you feel like you needed to be involved? Because I saw how sad he was. It made me sad. But what about us? How are we I'm supposed sure. to accept it? Because he's your son, you love him, right? Maybe it just takes some time. Time for us to step in. Hi, ma'am. How are you? I'm John Quinones. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm really glad. <laughs> you really uh, took it to heart. Why? Because I lost my mom at 20 years old. So to see parents and children choosing not to be together or not to have a good relationship makes me sad because, you know, I don't have that choice. You didn't have to get involved, right? You don't know. I did, and I didn't know if I should. My friend, I texted my friend. She's actually meeting me here. She is Chinese, and I said, should I get involved in this? She said, don't. I think your friend is here. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> your friend here was beautiful in the way she approached the young man and said, it's OK. You had suggested she not do that. Right. Why not? Cultural implications. As an Asian family, they would see this as the stigma of the West. Better not to get involved. Not necessarily. You support yeah. the person. You, you don't want to insult the parents. Daniel, you can say hi. Last time, I need to give you a hug. Thank you. <laughs> Love and compassion for a complete stranger. It never ceases to inspire. That was really, really awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah.